Well, we're very pleased to be joined now by the Richmond Kickers, Matt Delacat. Matt, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, congratulations on the big win against Dayton. You bagged a couple of goals, really a couple of nice strikes by Shea Spitz and by George Davis the fourth as well. How positive is the side feeling after that performance? Oh, well, definitely. It was a, a good rebound because obviously we um, we needed a win. We'd only won one game previous to that, so great to, to get three points on the road. Uh, and obviously to, to do it with a, a pretty big margin was great. Um, Obviously, there was a, a red card, so we ended up playing up a man, which helped us a lot. But no, definitely great to, to get those three points. Now we can look to, to get a couple of home games and hopefully continue on those wins. It seems as though the team has got some new additions in. I mentioned Shea and George and some of the other new faces that you have there. But the chemistry, especially going forward, seems to have really kicked in pretty quickly. Is, is that the case? Is that the way it's feeling out on the field? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, we do a lot of stuff in practice where we work with, uh, you know, the, the front four and, uh, and the midfield, and we do lots of different combinations and things. And, you know, anyone can kind of slot into position and should feel comfortable in the system we play in. So hopefully now, you know, players can start expressing themselves within the system and, uh, and, and we'll be dangerous going forward. Obviously, the team won the regular season championship last season, was eliminated in the semifinals, but for a lot of it, you were off on the sidelines struggling with injuries a little bit. Was was that frustrating, and is it nice to be back out there and contributing to the side again this season? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously, it was a, had a, a pretty long uh, layoff, and so I came back kind of at the end of the season, and it was, you know, obviously, you want to be on the field playing, and Luckily, throughout my career, I, I've not had too many injuries, so I have been on the field, so it's not really something I've had to deal with uh, before. But, you know, I kept plugging away, and then it was a great feeling last year to, to knock a couple of goals in against Orlando and help, you know, and help the team get that regular season championship. So, you know, sometimes you just got to be patient and, and wait for your chance. And last season, we, we did so well, we didn't lose a game, I think, in, until 20 something games into the season. So, it was also very hard just to get into the lineup. So, uh, you know, it's the same this year for, for certain guys. It's going to, you know, just be kind of a waiting game for, to get your chance. And when you do it, it's up to you to take it. You obviously have a lot of attacking options, including some of the guys that are being sent down from D.C. You've got Mike Seaton has spent some time, Colin Martin, obviously, who did very, has done very, very well in the games that he's played for you guys, and Kyle Porter coming down on loan. What do those guys bring to the squad, and, and does it add, add to the competitiveness in training and uh, to get into that starting eleven? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, we, uh, we work week in, week out on, on working hard in practice, and and like you said, the, getting the DC guys in adds that extra quality to the squad and, and adds the extra competition for places. So, you know, we've had anywhere from four to six or seven guys coming down from DC. So, I mean, that's creating a lot of competition for places and, and just a lot of competition just to make it into the, the game day 18. So, you know, uh, it's just one of those things that we kind of have to, to work as hard as we can to, to try and get ourselves in the team. Now, this Friday night, you go up against one of your former teams, the Rochester Rhinos. Is, 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 a, is it long enough that you've been part of the kickers that you don't have that quite the same edge that you do going up against your former team? Or is there still that mentality you always want to do well against Pat Urkely, Bob Lilly, and the guys over there? Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously, I've, I think I've played, this is my eighth season in Richmond, so really Richmond is kind of like my... my uh, team that I've been with the most so I, I had a three years in Rochester which which were good good years which I enjoyed playing there but you know it's just going to be another game for me just like any other club where we want to go out and win um, obviously I, I want to score like I do in any other game so I just kind of treat it like another game where you know we need to get a result and get the three points to, to continue pressing on They've obviously coming. In, they're obviously coming in on a pretty decent run of form themselves. Couple of wins, couple of shutouts in the past week. What's the biggest test for you guys to to try and break down that defense? I think you know, playing at home, we want to come out and and play you know attacking, creative soccer, and and create early chances and score early goals. 
um, teams are going to probably want to come in here and you know maybe they'll be happy going in at nil nil at half and then maybe look to sneak a goal at some point so we want to come out and attack and, and score goals for the fans well, Matt, it's great to see you back on the score sheet again. It's great to see you back out there and, and performing well again. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Sure thing. Thanks a lot.